X-Men 97 takes the streaming world by storm. Agreed. But will this animated update of the X-Men be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe? IMDb talks with the head of streaming, television, and animation at Marvel Studios, Brad Winderbaum, about the original show's iconic theme song, the updated animation, and the multiversal implications of X-Men 97. First off, X-Men 97 picks up just a few months after the end of the original X-Men The Animated Series. In those final episodes, Professor Charles Xavier barely survives an attack by a mutant-hating activist and must depart Earth with the Empress of the Shi'ar people for a potential intergalactic cure, leaving his X-Men without a successor to his role. I know you cannot bear to see him go. But it is the only way. Sounds complicated, and it kind of was, but all five seasons are now streaming on Disney Plus if you want to catch up. This world is our world now. Take it! Jumping to X Men 97, Cyclops takes a tenuous hold as top dog until Professor X's will reveals that he's chosen the team's number one arch enemy, Magneto, to take over as head of X Mansion the Xavier Institute, and as leader of the X-Men. Everything Charles fought for now belongs to me. Anyway, X-Men 97 mines the most beloved comic book storylines for adaptation, and this first episode takes inspiration from Uncanny X-Men issue 200, The Trial of Magneto. The original show and the Marvel Cinematic Universe at large all operate on that fundamental truth. When in doubt, go back to the classic comic books. So we had to ask Brad Winderbaum about how connected this version of the X-Men will be to their announced and anticipated debut in the MCU. X-Men 97 exists in the universe of the 90s cartoons. It's the same universe as the original series. For better or for worse, we live in a multiverse. And so you never know. The more interesting conversation to me though is the cultural conversation around X-Men that's 60 years old. And like all of our characters, you know, they're, they've been around in the world so long that you can see, you know, how all the audience responds to certain things at certain times. All those things influence, you know, our universe, our greater universe and our storytelling. Winterbomb is hinting at all of those classic 90s cartoons being fair game for crossovers or perhaps reboots, including Iron Man, Fantastic Four, and Spider-Man, which had its own run-in with the X-Men in 1995's second season, Neogenic Nightmare. I don't have time for games, Wolverine. Good, cause I ain't playing any. The other ground rule that Winterbomb had for X-Men 97 came as a directive from the top, Marvel Studios president, Kevin Feige, who said that if Marvel is going to reboot this series, they have to include that original theme song. We are trying to emulate our memory of it. Mm. Um, we have all new modern tools to 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 create this thing that could that could take it off off in different directions. And we just had to constantly arc ourselves back to our guiding principle, which is to revive, honor, emulate the OG. It is as close as as I think you could physically get in 20, 20 30 years later. Now, the theme song never had official lyrics, but we know we're not alone in adding our own. So we told Winterbomb that there's a perfect spot to sing the show's title. I really want to know what part you're thinking of. Uh, it's the da 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 X-Men. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's 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 locked in there forever. Well, it's in there now. Lastly, we asked Winderbaum about that unbelievable moment in the X-Men 97 trailer when Wolverine and Gambit combine their mutant powers to take on their robotic nemeses, the Sentinels, and what this could mean for the future of the series. That particular beat was in Jake Castorana's original pitch as director of the series. There is a moment which I cannot tell you because it's a spoiler in our like second to last episode of the season that is so great. Oh, <laughs> that oh. is like a power combination like moment that is just the coolest. Any <laughs> character you can tease okay. as a part of it, what we should be looking for? I know, I know, okay. You don't no. want me to, you don't want okay. me to. You want okay. to experience it. We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. 